Uh, one of the biggest changes we made this year was to put a fuel cell into the Tundra. And the issue that we deal with is trucks that are leaking fuel. Again, another use for the Tundras in our fleet. So we're gonna fill up the tank here and just make sure we're ready for the next job. Well, you know, we were doing a wreck just out here on Highway 1. A truck had jackknifed up. The fuel tanks were punctured by the landing gear and were leaking. So um, we called for the fuel cube and the Tundra. Can you come right in here, back in? Then we pumped that truck out and uh, saved an environmental mess. Cube will actually hold 570 liters of fuel. Uh, a fair amount of fuel, it's a fair amount of weight, and the Tundra handles it just perfectly. Look at the, uh, the grassy area in between the freeway to see if the grass is growing good or bad, you know, as a result of the fuel spill. We mitigated the loss of uh, fuel from the tank, and we only have a small part of the grass is burnt from the fuel spill but everything else looks really good here. So without the Tundra and without the fuel cube, we wouldn't have been able to do that. The Tundra is really becoming an invaluable tool that we use to take care of fuel spills. Right now, after running Tundras for five years in our fleet, I think we'd really be lost without one.